Let me introduce my guest to you, and uh, he is Shady. And this new music is called That's All. That's What's all. the inspiration behind it? Well, there's no particular inspiration about okay. it. It's just a vibe that happened one Friday evening in the studio. Yeah, we're both like we're all in the studio, and then we just vibe normal Friday night instead of being out in the studio doing everything. And then B2 just came out with the vibe. Okay. That's all. And then he just had to program the beat and all of that. And then we just. And it just happened. Yeah, just now, you were telling me previously that Dope Nation was made up of like five people. Yeah, way back in school. That was okay. in university. In university. Yeah, they're gone. All right, so what happened and now we have only two people making up the dope Okay, so the thing is, um, we were five initially okay. in school and then we were doing good music and all of that. But the thing is, the twins and me were ahead of the other two. When you say ahead, what do you like mean in, by? In terms of level, like okay. in terms of, yeah, we were ahead of them. So we completed before them. Mm -hmm. So that was when the whole thing started. We were out of school and they were still in school. So okay. we couldn't Work really together. Link, yeah. All right. So we had we decided to go our separate ways. Mm. And then, yeah. But in the video, I'm seeing about four of you from the original Dope Nation team. Mm. So it's the twins, then it's you. Cool kid, me, and then cool Mac kid. One. He's not in the video. Mac One. Yeah. Okay. Is there a possibility that we're going to see you form that whole group again? Um, we can come together and make good music like we just did. But yeah. the name Dope Nation, the brand Dope Nation is now for the twins. It's, it's for, for them. Yeah, the and twins. so you're okay with that. Oh, yeah. This would be your second what song? Yes, please. Yeah. Officially. Officially. You released the first one, what, two years ago? Yeah, two years with Trig. With Trig. What was it called? That Guy. That Guy. But why did it take you so long to come out with another one? <sighs> well, I had to put some things together and come out hard. Okay. Yeah. So you think that you've done your best so far? Yeah, so far. So What's been the response? Better. Yeah, the response has been great and marvelous mm. compared to two years ago. Okay. We're doing way better than When you say compared to two years ago, is that probably a reason why you decided to take a break? Yeah. And figure things out? Because yeah, you didn't blow things. like you expected? Yes. And even now, I've not really blown, but it's better than before. So what was the homework that you did? What did you work on? Well, I, I, I didn't have a team before, like the team that helps me with my work and mm. everything. And then secondly, I didn't have a studio, a recording place All right. on my own. Okay. You I need to, to have your own recording studio. There are so many people who recorded with Hammer yeah, but, and all that, and they still had the biggest hits. Yeah, but if you want to, you know, focus on yourself and then put anything that comes into your mind down, you just have to have your, your personal setup. Okay. That maybe when you're sleeping and you catch a vibe, you just walk to it and then just do it rather than waiting for the next day book a studio session and so let me okay. let me get this straight it looks like every musician now is becoming a sound engineer or you know um, a producer because everybody says i have my own studio mm -hmm. how then do you determine what is good and what is not because shouldn't we separate the musician from the sound engineer oh no you, you can do everything you can be multitasking okay it's not bad it's not a bad no thing. once you're an artist if you're learning to produce your own music, I mean, it's a plus. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to wait on anybody or anything. You just do what you're supposed to do. Okay. Yeah. You're one of the youngins that's coming up in, you know, in the industry. There are so many big names out there who are doing great. Mm -hmm. But the problem has been longevity for a lot of people. So they come in with one song, two songs, yeah. and then before you realize, they're either beefing someone and that's going to make their career dip, yeah. or they're just getting tired or getting the wrong songs. What are you doing to ensure that you well, enjoy some longevity in the industry? Well, what I'll say firstly is you need to be consistent and persistent. Okay. When you're consistent and persistent, I mean, you can do whatever you're supposed to do. It's not about what you put out there. You'd have to stay relevant. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Yes, you have to, consistent? your branding, talk of your branding, the music you put out, and everything about you. I mean, mm -hmm. you should take it like, like your job. So what kind of brand build. are you trying to build or project? My own brand. Yeah, what kind of brand is that? I mean, when we mentioned Shady, what should people think of? When you mention Shady? Yeah. Um, think of a quiet, shy guy. Okay. But is that good enough of a brand for a musician? Yeah, sometimes. Quiet and shy? Yeah. Like who? I mean, name a few quiet and shy people that are... Just me so far. Okay. <laughs> the reason why I'm asking is people expect that musicians will be hyper and all over the place and all of that, you know. The, the louder you are, the further your music goes, really? maybe. Then Mogis will not be heard. Okay. Because Mogis is very quiet and reserved, mm. but he's one of the leading artists in Ghana. Okay. Yes. So, and so for you, being quiet is good enough for you and you think it would that's work? That's me personally. Who that's are some me. of the musicians that inspire you in the Mugis. industry? Mogis. Yeah. You have a close relationship with him? 
I'm trying to build one now. Oh, okay. So if you have his number, so you haven't even met him. No, I don't. But what do you love about him apart from him being? I just like his style and his kind of music. The guy is smooth. Okay. Yeah. And that's that's. Yeah. That's it for you. That's, that's what I. What about like. the ladies? Is anybody catching your attention? I used to like Ebony, the lady. Used to. Hairstyle. Okay. But she passed. Piece, yeah. All right. She's the only one that's. Yeah. Catching your fancy in terms of music. Yeah. So currently, the ladies in the industry, you don't think they were doing. They're doing good, well? but I, I don't really like anyone. Like you don't really yeah, like I just anyone. Support, I like their music and all of that, but. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, there's another video that I want us to take a look at before we continue. I'm speaking to Shady, and we just saw his brand new music video, but take a look at this other one as well. I be you say, be the one now, so they make we play. Waiting up and look me in the face. Now you come around, gonna give, give me kiss. She be with the grace. Body no be firewood, you go say. Me, I give them to you each and every day. You will be the reason, Charlie. This no be case, so come watch my face. So, me say what you want, tell me. Bad girl, why you want to me? Anytime you they want try me. I go show you, say. I be that guy. I be that guy. Say you don't want me. You know why your girlfriend so they want to date me? That's guy. Girl, I know be call me. I know they feel they stay yellow without sardine. Cause I be that guy. You know them all love me. The ladies can't stay yellow without shady. No, 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 no. Now I know they worry. Now one thing for sure, why they get money? Baby, my dad come on now, you they ball. Make you know do the job on ya. I know do why you say me, I be John. Baby, hold on, but you say make a poor. Now you they come, they knock on my door. I kite this day, December 24th. We me then you be they play for the floor. If you go jar, then if you Alright, so that's the first one, that guy featuring Trigmatic, and that's music from Shady. I have a question for you, especially because you're closely tied to um, Dope Nation. Now quite recently they were in the news complaining about some treatments that they received at um, you know what's his name again Quisi Quisi Arthur's yeah. concert and all of that and a lot of people were saying that maybe that was another way of getting people to talk about them you personally what do you think about beef in the industry and is it that necessary well <laughs> if you ask me I'll say it's not necessary okay yes because it doesn't add anything to I mean you just create controversies and that's it people talk about you one two three times and that's it and it's they forget like, about you, you see, so yeah. you think it, well, it kills your brand it doesn't, more than it, 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 it. Yeah, I wouldn't say it kills your brand more than it because there's nothing like bad publicity. Okay. You see, yeah. So it just, I just feel it's not necessary. So what As, do you think about your brothers and how they went about the issue concerning Quasi Arthur? Well, it was something on their minds that they really wanted to say. So mm -hmm. I just feel once they've said whatever they have to say and everybody's away, they just let it go and move on. Did you try to discourage them from speaking on it? Oh, no. Not at all? Not at all. Because you, you think they're old enough to make their own decisions? It's not like that. They have a plan. All right. So I can't... When you say they have a plan, like... They have a plan in terms of releasing music okay. and all of that. So I don't know what the plan was. So there's no way I can go against So it. do you agree that sometimes, just so your music can be popular, artists find ways to stay relevant in the industry by creating maybe some beef or some controversy, just so people can keep talking about their music? Well, people do create controversies just for them to stay relevant, but talking about beefs, I wouldn't advise. At all? At all. Where's your brand headed? Where's your music headed? I'm looking at the international market. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of music do you do again? Afrobeats. Afrobeats. Yeah. Okay. So international market. Yeah. International could be what? Africa? Africa worldwide. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if you had the opportunity to work with some international artists, who would they be? Um, in Africa? Well, worldwide, global. Okay. I would like to work with Whiskey and Burner Boy. Okay. And then I would like to work with hopefully Chris Brown. Hopefully Chris yeah. Brown. All right, fingers crossed. Let's see how that goes. When are we expecting new music from you? Um, January. January. Yeah. So this is our Christmas banger. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, so I've been speaking to Shady, and he is an Afro what beats? Yeah, Afro beats musician right here from Ghana. And so look out for more from him.